everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of the Hottie Life Apothecary for those of you guys who don't know. At the moment, I'm currently in beautiful, sunny Florida, just taking a trip, a vacation, and spending time with my mom and with my family. And I've been really enjoying myself. For those of you guys that have been watching on my Instagram, Bahati Life, and my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this week ahead because there's a lot of messages that have been coming through for this week, and they are coming in loud and clear, and I wanna dive into this. Um, I don't know if you guys are feeling this. I am and I am not, if that makes any sense, but there's a really interesting dynamic that I'm seeing and that I'm feeling for this week after I pull the chart and after I pull the cards. And one thing that I'm seeing is you don't wanna force anything. I feel like so many of us right now and so many of my tribe this week, you're going to feel this pull you're going to feel this, it, it almost feels like your heart is being tugged or your gut, your intuition is tugging you in a direction. Some of you guys are seeing it clearly. You're getting these like insights, these moments of clarity that really make your eyes pop, that make your, that that makes, when you see it, you it resonates. It's like these like fractured visions of what you feel is manifesting in your life. The more that you see these hints, these lights, these like be, these uh, little beacons of light that are you know popping up in your third eye while you're sleeping in your dreams as you're living your life maybe maybe as you're meditating you're getting this vision and it's it comes in so clear you can tell like this this vision that you have is not like your imagination it's just too specific that it resonates it hits a chord differently those visions that you're receiving now I really feel this week and the, the past weekend you're downloading a lot of information. You're you're being guided to where it is that you are headed, but knowing that you're headed in a direction, sometimes it can trigger in some of us, okay, well, what do I need to do in order to help me to get there? And the thing is, is that this week, the week of the seventh, which is the time that it is that I'm filming, it's not about knowing the next steps, it's about receiving. It's about clocking this information and journaling it and documenting it without having to feel like you have to act and know specifically what is next. There is a lot of element of surprise. I feel as though each and every single one of us needs to be open to. And this is because Yes, you know your direction. Yes, you know where your heart is pulling you towards, where the universe is trying to guide you towards. But at the same time, there's some aspects of what is unfolding in your life. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pause the video really quickly. Um, but I don't wanna say that it's a surprise because a surprise is not the right word. The closest word that I have to describe what it is that I'm seeing within the chart and within the cards, which is that there's some elements that, there's something on the horizon that is bigger than what you thought that you would be able to manifest or there's some, something on the horizon that is bigger than you would have even known to ask for. It's different, it's just totally different. It's something new, it's something um, that you wouldn't have, it's like, um, like an extra gift, like an extra development. And that is something that is really close on the horizon and that's why you're getting these fractions of certain you, you know visions like they're you're getting these fractions of this greater picture and then you're trying to piece all the put all the pieces of the puzzle together when in reality you're not entirely sure what that whole picture is going to look like that's why it's so frustrating so let me take a moment to pull out the cards and let me show you what it is okay so the first thing that I want to say is that at the start of this week mercury ruling communication ruling how we thought, how we think, how we, our thoughts, and how we express ourselves, how we communicate with others, the messages that we receive, the messages that it is that we wanna deliver, is going to be directly opposing opposite Uranus. Now, Uranus right now is pulling grenades in our bones, meaning like our foundation, the ground that it is that we're walking on. And it has been doing this for quite some time, and we're seeing this a lot with this disruption in politics, this disruption in business, and our home environment, the things that are most valuable to us. And as this mindset is shifting, I'm also seeing some stress being put on 
our physical bodies on physical tangible things so you can see this sometimes in a breakdown of money and finances some of you guys are splitting and separating from areas that you've been pulling your income from that have been supporting you and providing for you this is because the universe the divine does not want you to compromise your purpose your destiny with you know a, a solid meaning like okay yeah I'm pulling in I'm you know I'm doing this job to pay for my income because this is all of the opportunities that are available to me this is all that's been presented to me but the, again the universe God the divine has a bigger picture for you that you haven't even seen yet you're just getting glimpses of it you're just getting pictures of it and that's why there's this splitation that is happening around you that doesn't make sense and you again you can feel this desire you can feel this bigger picture but you haven't had all of the pieces yet to piece it together so that you can understand exactly specifically in full detail sometimes we want to have the, the specific sometimes we want to have the details to help us to understand how this is going to all make sense how this is going to all work but the thing is is that I truly believe that you know each of our each of us or at least I believe this that our, our purpose here is to move out of out of a space of love love for ourselves and love for others and also faith and faith means that you are trusting in yourself despite what things look like and you're trusting in a higher power despite what it is logically makes sense so you have to pull from this source that sometimes you can't always see <sighs> throughout that process um, if you hear any noise in the background, it's the air conditioning unit, and I'm also filming outside. So, throughout this process, it's really important that in at some point in your life, you have to experience lack so that you can appreciate when you are being abundantly filled, but also so that you can call out for something bigger, greater, grander. During this process, you actually have to be quiet. You actually have to go within. You actually have to ask yourself, what is it that I truly value? Because the universe, the divine, does not want me to feed superficial things and give to them and build upon those superficial things when you have a bigger purpose, you have a d bigger destiny, you have this, um, you know, deeper connections and deeper relationships that are going to serve a higher purpose, not that superficial level that we are all walking away from now. So if you do see this splitation and the separation of you and what it is that you thought was for you, it will create stress on the physical body. When you feel that, move into a space of peace, move into a space of meditation, nourish yourself, make sure that you're hydrated, make sure that your spiritual self is being hydrated so that you're filling yourself, you're, um, you're drinking in you know, the things that make you feel abundantly filled so that you're not depleted, so that you're not dry, so that you're not turned inside out, okay? I'm also, this card jumped out that says you've got time and they choose you. And this is confirmation for any of you guys who are really feeling disconnected from something that you feel is your divine right or your divine gift given to you by God. And it's saying, I really feel this message this week of stop rushing and plowing your way through this thing, this person, this situation, this thing that you are feeling yourself getting pulled for, pulled towards. Trust that what you have been putting out, this energy that you've been putting out is going to be given back to you, but it's going to give, be given back to you in the way that is right, in the way that you deserve it to be given back to you. It's not gonna give you half ass. It's not gonna give you superficial. It's gonna give you full. So if, if that's the case, you have to be, you have to know exactly what it is that you need to receive so that you can be open to receiving it. So many of us are like, yeah, I want this and I want this, but if you were to see the signs of it, you wouldn't even know what it would look like because it's new territory. So you wouldn't even know to say yes to it because it's so foreign to you. In fact, your first reaction might be to say no. So these are some things that I really want you guys to prepare for this week is stepping out of a space of lack this five of pentacles energy into the space of abundance ten of pentacles now when we're talking about pentacles sometimes we think money for some of you guys this is truly actually abundance because these are the cards that jumped out the card of abundance like actual physical tangible for others this physical tangible thing is not just money but it's things that you truly value that you are seeing in physical form that you can touch 
that is here, that belongs to you, that is exclusively yours, no questions asked. It's just 1000% yours, okay? So that's something that it is that I'm seeing here. And I also feel as though this week, any time that you are staying in a space of peace and quiet, you want to, there's this word of easy does it, meaning like, you know, you don't wanna again plow these things, plow them into your life, force them into your life. You wanna be receptive to them. You wanna receive them. You wanna call it out, put it out there. This is a conversation that you have with your friends, a conversation that you have with your family, your, your boss, your coworkers, the people that you love, the conversation you have with the divine, your angels, your guides, the conversation you're having with yourself that is not forceful and angry. It doesn't have an anger, angry tone to it. It's softness, it's gentleness, it's a mutual respect so that people understand, you understand, the divine understands what it is that you want after you spent this quiet time, this space, consulting yourself, consulting your guides, what is it that you have for me? Because you guys are getting pictures. You are getting fragments of certain images that are coming through. The next thing that I'm seeing for this week is abundance and true love. Now, I feel as though, especially as Venus is moving through the sign of Scorpio, moving into the sign of Scorpio on the 8th, this is, again, the universe being like, we have so much in store for you. We really want you to be abundantly provided for, and we don't want you to have to um, sacrifice, I don't want to say make sacrifices, but we don't want you to compromise on this. When I'm seeing abundance and true love, the word that I'm hearing and that I'm stuck on is true. This is what is real. This is of value. This is something that you want to hold on to and that others want to hold on when they invest themselves in you and they will pour their abundance into that. They will pour their um, attention, their time, their effort, and you in that. We wanna make sure that if you are actually like, you are, you were born into this life with so many gifts, you guys, so many God-given gifts, so many talents, so many things that make you unique. That is what you are abundantly filled with. The universe and the divine understands that those things are really, truly, actually unique to be found in one person. So if that if you really are going to pour yourself into a thing, make sure that that thing is ready, willing, and capable of holding all that you are going to pour into it. Because if not, it's going to be a waste. That thing that is so valuable, that is so precious, is going to be just tossed aside as if it's nothing. When that is not the case of who you are, and that's not what your divine purpose is meant to look like. The same is true for others who are going to pour themselves into you. They want to make sure that you are ready, that you are capable, that you are willing, that you are prepared, and that when they approach you and that when they show up, that you're going to be able to hold it and not be overwhelmed by it. So that's what I'm seeing when I see abundance and true love. It is what you truly love. It is what is truly destined for you. That is what needs to be poured in. That is what is going to be poured into you and you are going to be pouring back into it. And it's going to be this mutual exclusively like two of pentacles energy or two of cups yeah, two of cups, actually energy and two of pentacles type of energy of just this, let's build, let's build together, let's align, let's sync up. The other thing that I'm seeing is the four of cups, the knight of cups, and the knight of, nine of swords reverse. Knight, the knight of cups and the knight, the nine of swords, that's a mouthful right there, is again, this is not giving to anything or to anyone in a way that makes you anxious, in a way that makes you feel depleted, in a way that makes you feel, I don't wanna say vulnerable, but it compromises your serenity, it compromises your peace, it compromises your clarity. Sometimes the biggest risks that you'll take are so clear for you to take them, and you feel really called to take that risk. Other times, that clarity, that lack of clarity, it comes with chaos, it comes with confusion, it comes with discord internally. So you need to make sure that anything that you're giving your, giving your energy to, you're, that you're pouring into, and that you're receiving, that is being poured into you, is something that gives you peace and serenity. And if at any moment you're disconnected from that, you have to four of cups, you have to four of cups it. You have to pull back, and before you take it and consume it, you have to make sure, is this really truly what it is that I want? Don't feel bad or guilty for needing time, needing a, a moment, a, a blips, like a little, a little moment for yourself to really discern 
is this something that I want to consume? That's, is this something that I, that I am going to allow into my energy field that I'm going to give to nourish my body? Because if you are going to take it in, then it needs, you need to make sure that it's not poisonous. You need to make sure that it's not toxic. You need to make sure that it's going to nourish you and that it's going to not create a reaction. This is, only, this is something that only you know, that only you will know to say yes or no to. Right? It's just like if you were eating food and your body reacts to it and you go to the doctor and you tell them, like, this is how it makes me feel. The doctor can't tell you what it is that you feel because the doctor isn't feeling what it is that you're feeling. He'll give you an explanation or she'll give you an explanation for why it is that you're feeling that way or maybe a test to confirm what it is that you already know. But ultimately, you know. So I'm seeing a lot of like, wait, I need to take a moment first before I pour into this or before I receive what is being poured in and not feeling guilty in that. So the next few cards that it is that I'm seeing are the medicine woman. It's this you know, divine channeling energy that's happening here. Those you love, love you. I'm seeing the card of money again, confidence and compassion. So I think that Again, it's about this, this space of compassion. When I hear the word compassion, how I understand it now is I love myself so much. I love others so much that I'm going to give them what they need in order to feel at peace, in order for them to feel whole. And you know what, what, what I'm giving to them and what I'm receiving from them, it resonates, it's okay. It's okay, it's right with my spirit. Compassion is not forcing and pushing your way through. It's about, does this resonate with you? Does this feel good to you? Does this feel good to me? And I'm going to approach it with compassion. I'm going to approach, approach it with gentleness. That is the ultimate act of respect. And I see you guys giving yourselves that. And I see you guys commanding that. I see you approaching others with that. That's the energy of healing. That's the energy of power. Is a person who is not feeling like they have to do anything outside of their comfort zone and not feeling like they have to again compromise any aspect of themselves in order to receive what it is that they need does that make sense and then I'm also seeing with confidence this is you knowing that I am a, a I'm an I'm a force like I'm a force of energy I'm a force of love I'm a force of compassion I'm a force I'm a channel of creative creative energy of of messages from the divine of intelligence of prosperity all these things I'm channeling are just flowing through through me that gives me confidence like why wouldn't I feel confident in my abilities why wouldn't I you know work with that so and that's a part of being compassionate is like not using your strengths if you have a highly intelligent mind that same intelligent mind that can you can create solutions can infinitely cre create problems a compassionate mind, a powerful person understands that I'm going to use my strengths, I'm going to use my, my, my God-given gifts for good and not for evil. That is compassion. So have compassion for yourself, have compassion for others. The other thing that I'm seeing is this space of divine passion, despair, and love is never in vain. For many of you guys this week, as you step into this space of quietness and you were calling in different things and calling in answers and you know speaking to the divine and speaking to yourself and speaking to other people there are gonna be moments where you're gonna feel triggered you're gonna be put into a, a moment of despair and discord again and chaos because you're like why 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 and this is you know, it's, it's, it, all of that is just a trigger. See it for what it is. It's just a trigger. It's a moment in your life along your journey where you saw something similar and it didn't work out or it hurt you or it burned you or whatever, but you learn from that, but you do things differently. You don't go in with a guard up or walls up. You just go in with discernment and you go in with healthier boundaries. So it doesn't block your passion from flowing out and from and from you receiving others passion it's just saying that these things that I've lost it's never in vain it's never for no reason it's there to really truly teach you and to help you to step into the space of true power of unlimited like limitless power it's not in vain it's not it didn't happen for no reason I've been really called to look at the Empress lately and I watch her sitting here and she has this owl of wisdom 
and she's sitting here totally naked. She's sitting here totally, you know, this is who I am in all of my glory. This is, I'm beautiful. I'm compassionate. Like, it is an investment. It is such a precious gift to spend time with me and to have access to my, to my resources, the well of who it is that I am. But my wisdom, the things that I've observed in my life, my wisdom is protecting me, but it's not walling me. It's not keeping me from receiving abundance. It's not keeping me from giving abundance. It's just teaching me, it has taught me, you know, to observe before I give. And it takes, it teaches me to watch as people give to me and how they give to me. Meanwhile, I allow things to flow. I don't have to, you know, hold on to them and fight for them because I'm abundantly provided for and I'm ab abundant myself. So I want you guys to really step into this Empress energy, whether you're a male or a female or however you identify as this space of things that you've observed in your life, let them be lessons and let them guide you to protect you through discernment, through healthy boundaries. But having a boundary doesn't wall you up and keep abundance from flowing and keep you from giving to others. That is what is transforming within your life. That is what is, you know, the, the death that is happening here. It's, you know, it's not repeating the same patterns. That's what the death is here. It's the end of that cycle of repeating the same stuff and not having to force and fight for the things that are ultimately yours. They belong to you. I think that in, in, this, in this moment for this week, you guys, there's these three cards here that says positivity, striving, and contentment. This brings me right back to the message that I saw earlier with the Empress, which is about, you know, it's not about striving and forcing anything, it's about thriving. A person who is thriving is not forcing anything. They're not picking up, you know, crumbs of what was left. They call out for what is it they want. They discover their internal gifts, they, they discover their strengths, and they invest in them so that others can invest in them, if that makes any sense. So it's, it's relinquishing this need to fight and to force because of this despair sometimes that it is that you're experiencing or that you're feeling. And it's not all about positive thinking, it's about finding what works for you and using that as a tool, as a resource, um, using your power and using your strengths for good, not evil for you, not only for others, but also for yourself, and finding peace and contentment with all that it is that you are here now, and allowing anything that doesn't serve you to flow away, and anything that you need to flow towards you and to come to you. All you have to do is put your hand out and receive it, okay? Oh, so that's the message that it is that I'm seeing for you guys. One last thing that I wanna say to you is, your treasure is at hand meaning like all you have to do is put your hand out and it will come and land in your fingertips. You were born with that it quality. That means you as you are is all that you've needed and anything that is for you is literally coming to you. You don't have to fight for it. You don't have to force it. You don't have to um, convince anyone or negotiate or beg. If it is for you, it'll approach you. You'll know that you're not doing the right thing when you find yourself begging for it, when you find yourself finding, trying to like manipulate, trying to find ways of convincing. No one has time for that. That's not Empress energy, not at all. That's very, that's very Five of Pentacles. That's very Five of Pentacles. When you, this week, are stepping into the Ten of Pentacles, and you have always been the Ten of Pentacles. Now, at the end of this week, on the 13th, we have the full moon in Aries, and the Aries is all about starting this new cycle within your life and seeing with clarity with the full moon, because that's what the full moon is going to do, seeing with clarity what that cycle is going to look like and how you need to be a leader for yourself and how you need to call the shots and how you need to say, this is who I am, this is what I want, this is what it will be. And anything less than that is not for you, my love, and you know that, you know that internally. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this reading out. But in the meantime though, I do want to invite you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more authentic, intuitive messages where this came from. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.